So what we're talking about now is the accelerated band um, plyometrics. I, I don't. I mean, I, I didn't invent them because I've known other people use them before I ever shared it. Uh, I think there was a research group 17 years ago that was studying accelerated jumps. When I say accelerated jumps, you're hooking bands to the ceiling 10 and a half to 11 feet high and jumping with them. And the original reason I, create, I, I came across those was that after using force plates and motion analysis machines, I, I began to realize that after the third step in running or skating, that I couldn't mimic the speed that, that anything in the weight room was doing so uh, I'm talking joint angles and such so then I was like well I got to unload the body and this is when I came um, up with these on my own but I, I think people had been doing them because the, after I came up with them uh, I went to a conference and somebody showed some stuff that they were doing them on a force plate with the same concept so anyway and, and they're called triphasic bars or attachments to the rack or triphasic uh, band attachments but the accelerated plyometrics are essentially unloading the body to mimic the speed at which you happen when you're running, whether you're, you're at, uh, during acceleration on the third step or everything after that, even top end speed. So again, the accelerated plyometrics, as you come down, you can land, you can do the rebound method uh, uh, with the rebound method. And when I say that, you, you would hit, and gum, you can do it from the deep position, you can do it from the mid position, you can do it from the top position, okay? So you're hitting and going. You can do the pause method, okay? Most definitely hit, land, pause, explode up. You can do metabolic jumping, which I actually find with this can be effective, especially if you've got an athlete um, that's been injured, returning to play, so just doing jumps. The thrust method, I would say the thrust method works extremely well with the top end speed and the mid range. So this works with all three, okay, the pause method. Now, AFSM also works with all three. So you can do it at the bottom, at the mid range, so you're pulling yourself down, you're kind of, with this, you're kind of waiting as you're landed and, and as you go to hit the ground, your athlete's pulling yourself into position, holding onto the bands, and then you explode up. Okay, so the AFSM method, and, I, and I'll probably hook uh, hyperlinks to, to various methods uh, used with these things, but you can see that this accelerated plyometrics basically can be, be used um, by unloading the body. And again, remember, that is essentially unloading the body because you're, you're at full body weight when you take that first step. The second step, the body isn't as loaded because you have momentum. So a 200 pound body might become 160. And then with each step, you start decreasing the amount of load on your body. Doesn't mean there's not a, a lot of impact, but what you're trying to accelerate becomes less because you've, you're not starting at zero, okay? And that's where I found this accelerated band metrics. Now, let's be honest. The kids' attention nowadays with the phones and everything they have, it's just another combination of an effective training tool to throw in there that actually works. Look, one of my biggest pet peeves is people do stuff that have no training effect, that has no, they don't measure it. And, and I, I sit here and I go, I see all these neat exercises people create on the internet, but there's no training effect and it doesn't do anything. Uh, I went on a rant the other day on an email, like, I don't know what a Turkish getup does. It's not gonna make an Olympic world champion better. Friends of mine have reported that on force plates, it actually made people's balance worse. Uh, this was healthy individuals. Now, I know that it would make a unhealthy individual with bad balance probably balance better, but to check somebody's balance, to have them do Turkish get-ups and then get back on a force plate, it actually made them worse. So you might need to individualize or at least test what you're talking about and what you do, okay? So um, the accelerated band jumps, sorry I went off on a tangent there, are extremely effective for all three range of motions of the triphasic um, range method.